alive from the three kids to from the three because for some reason I can't reload. What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today we're going to be talking about the build that I like to call Showtime because when you bring the heat it starts to melt and it has to be one of the best PvE builds to run in 1.8. It has the best of both worlds, it has high damage, great survivability, so you can run this solo or you can run it in a group and it works great in both scenarios. Before we get into the build, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support you have been showing my channel. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for telling your friends about my videos because without you guys, this channel wouldn't be where it is today and it keeps growing every single day. I've been getting around 200 new subscribers a day and that's pretty cool guys. I just wanna say thank you guys again. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching a video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. And if you have any questions after watching this video, use the comment section down below. If you guys haven't realized already, I'm really active on my YouTube channel. I always read my comments and I try to reply back to you as soon as I can. But that's enough talking about that. Let's get into the build I call Showtime. So yes, this build consists of six piece striker, so the first thing you're gonna notice is my firearms is 5,478, my stamina is 6,495, and my electronics is 3,996. Now you can also run this build with less electronics and more stamina, so you'll be a lot more tanky, but your heal will be a little bit less, your pulse will be a little bit less. Whatever other skill you're running is just gonna be a little bit less. So before we get into the gear, we're gonna talk about what the six piece striker does. Set bonus two gives you 20% stability, Set bonus three gives you 10% enemy armor damage. Set bonus four, every consecutive hit deals 1% more damage. It stacks up to 100%. Missing shots drop bonus by 2%. Bonus is reduced by 1% every second. Bonus can be paused by EMP and is lost when exiting combat. Set bonus five gives you an additional 10% stability. So that's a total of 30% stability. And then an additional 5% enemy armor damage. So that's a total of 15% enemy armor damage, which is great for melting NPCs. Set bonus six, every hit adds self-healing bonus for 0.02% for max health per second. This bonus is increased by 0.05% for every 3,000 stamina. Stacks up to 100 hits. Missing shots drops the bonus by one stack. The bonus is reduced by two stacks every second. And that's how you have a lot of survivability. So if you wanna take a little bit more advantage of this talent, you would stack 9,000 stamina, drop your electronics down, and have your firearms around the same. The sixth talent also improves your striker battle gear, which is your fourth talent. Every hit increases the bonus damage from the striker battle gear by an additional 1%. Missing shots drops the bonus from the striker battle gear by 1% and the bonus is reduced by 2% every second. So not only does the sixth talent improve on the fourth talent, it also gives you that survivability from the self healing. So for the chest, it's road stamina, major attributes are skill haste and health and minor attribute is 24% increased kill XP. For the mods, I'm running firearm mods with 3% skill haste. For the mask, it's road electronics. Major attribute is 4% critical hit chance. Minor attribute is blind death resistance. The mods I'm running are firearm mods with skill haste. For the knee pads, the rolled stamina. Major attribute is critical hit damage. Minor is bleed, blind, and burn resistance. For the mods I'm running firearm mods with skill haste. And performance mod with 6% first aid self heal. For the backpack, it's rolled stamina. Major attribute is skill power. Minor is ammo capacity. The mods I'm running firearm mods with skill haste. And then performance mod with first aid self heal. For the gloves, the rolled skill haste, shotgun damage, and critical hit chance, and then their firearms. So for the holster, I'm running reload speed. Since the shotguns do naturally have a slow reload speed, I felt like reload speed would be more beneficial when I fight NPCs and I need to reload quickly. So let's get into the gun that makes this build the showstopper. 
Base damage on the Showstopper is 72.9k, RPM is 240, and max size is 20. The stagger on the shotgun is 318%, which is great in PvE. Remember, the stagger was taken away from PvP, but it still works really good in PvE. So for the talents, I'm running Brutal. Headshot damage is increased by 12% when using this weapon. Responsive damage is increased by 10% when closer than 10 meters to the target. I really feel that responsive is essential to having on all your shotguns since you will most likely be within 10 meters to all your targets and that extra 10% damage is really good on the shotgun. And then of course the showstopper talent. Your accuracy with this weapon is increased, the fewer shells you have left in the magazine. And the great thing about running the showstopper with the six piece classified is that your stacks come a lot quicker because of the talent showstopper. And then the fewer shells you have left in the magazine, your accuracy with this weapon gets a lot better. And that's why keeping 100% stack in PVE is really easy to do with the showstopper. For the mods I'm running on the optics, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, headshot damage, and then an underbarrel with optimal range, critical hit damage, and accuracy. I prefer to run the underbarrel with optimal range, critical hit damage, and accuracy just so my shotgun hits better at longer distance. For the secondary, I'm running a lightweight M4. Enemy armor damage is 24%. Damage is 16.9K. Talents are responsive, deadly, and competent. For the optics, I'm running critical hit chance, critical hit damage, headshot damage. For the suppressor, I'm running critical hit damage, critical hit chance, headshot damage. For the underbarrel, I'm running reload speed, critical hit damage, stability. And for the extended mag, I'm running magazine size, critical hit chance, and rate of fire. The great thing about running the underbarrel on my M4 is that I'm running reload speed on my holster. Not only am I getting 30% reload speed for my weapon, I'm also getting the reload speed for my holster. So a cool technique that you can do when you're running this build is you can stack up to 100% with the showstopper and then you can switch to your lightweight M4 and then melt them with that stack. For the skills, I really recommend you running overdose just so you can have some kind of survivability, especially if you're by yourself. My self heal is around 132,000. It comes back every 35 seconds. For your second skill, that's really up to you. And a lot of times I love running the flame turret with this build and it's not for the damage because as you can see the damage is only 3,400 but the flame turret is going to stop the NPCs from rushing you and that way you can turn around and blast them with your showstopper. For the talents, if I'm in a group I run triage, critical save, combat medic, and strike back. If I'm running by myself, I'll take off triage, I'll put on steady hands, I'll take off combat medic, and I'll put on on the move. So if we get into the character, you're gonna see my showstoppers, critical hit chance is 17%, my critical hit damage is 42%, and my headshot damage is 78%. My enemy armor damage is 15%, and my skill haste is 32%. My armor mitigation is only 31%. Remember, this build isn't fully optimized at all. I'm really saving all my division tech, so that's why my armor mitigation is only at 31%, but if I were to fully optimize this gear set, it would be at max armor mitigation. Now if I switch to my M4, critical hit chance is 23%, critical hit damage is 75%, headshot damage is 87%, enemy armor damage is 39%. So you can see how this M4 is really good for melting NPCs after you get your stack with your showstopper. So both weapons are really good. You can use one to get the stack, you can use one to melt players, or you could just use a showstopper non-stop like I do and just melt NPCs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There are a lot of different things you can still do to this build. This is just a template to get you guys going in the right direction. It's currently my favorite PvE build to run, and I'm running this build in the underground, when I farm bosses in the open world, or if I'm even in a DZ with a team that we're just gonna be doing farming, I'll run this build. This will most likely be the build that I'm gonna run in the next global event, which kicks off on December 12th. So if you guys aren't ready for that global event, keep grinding, get your gear pieces ready, and remember, there are other PVE builds that you can run in 1.8, from a Reclaimer to Six Piece Final Measure. I just feel like this PVE build is the best at the moment for my playstyle. If you still have questions on this build, let me know. Remember, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching a video, hit the subscribe button. And I gotta get back to grinding, guys. I got a lot of work to do before the next global event comes out. I just wanna say thank you guys again for all the support. But for now, nothing but skills is out. Goodbye.
hat in real life. Yeah, I can go buy a hat in real life. <laughs> <laughs>